What's up gamers, Gamer Dad here. This is a guide to help you complete the Magneto Quest travel distance in the air with Magneto Power Equipped. If you haven't subscribed or used my creator code yet, please do so. I greatly appreciate your support. It's Gamer Dad, all one word, all capital letters. So, hardest part of the challenge is getting that Magneto Power. Getting Magneto Power is as, quote, simple as buying it from Magneto. Unfortunately, he needs to be in stock. Everybody is landing here at Brawler's Battleground right from the hop so come here straight from the battle bus and instantly go for that little uh, box where the quotation marks are there or the little dots not quotations the little periods and you want to quickly talk you push square to instigate the talk and then you push xx once you're on magneto's power so you're gonna have to rush that one it's been pretty crazy ever since the game has begun once you get magneto's power which you could also find on the ground in the loot of a dead player's body by the way Here's one more clip of just what it looks like. So remember, whatever you normally start your dialogue, and then the Magneto power is the first item on the left. So you have to be fast. You'll have to practice it, and you might even fail a few times. Once you have it in your inventory, and like I say, you could find it from a dead player's loot, you then want to travel in the air. So how could you travel in the air? Well, you can make sure that it's your active item, get into a car, and drive off high cliffs. That one netted me one-third of the challenge. And then you could just drive back up, jump off again. I could repeat that same process two times. You could also use Flowberry Fizz to cause a low gravity effect, which means when you jump, you kind of float in the air. And you could be sprinting, jumping with the Flowberry, and you could also get it done. You could. There's a couple launch pads in the area of Mount Olympus as well that you could jump off. However, I figure just whatever combination of these, you know, various hacks and ways to travel distance in the air will be helpful. And going up and down an ascender, it may or may not work. I didn't get a chance to try that while my uh, quest was active. But you could also, and another good thing would be, go onto the zip line. Go onto the many zip lines across the map while you have the magneto power equipped. And that should also count. And then you can just go back and forth on the zip line even. I really wish I'd actually tested out that zipline idea, so if you do have a chance to try it while it's in your active quest, do let me know if traveling distance on the zipline, even simply going back and forth on one line, works out for you or not. Otherwise, see, another thing I found is I'd just be going across areas like this and you'd hit a couple bounces and all of a sudden like you'd get significant credit, like you know, 10 or 20 units of uh, distance being traveled in the air. So. It's, not a, it's definitely not a hard quest. The hardest part will be getting that Magneto power in your inventory and then just going about and doing this. So even there, just running and jumping around is enough. I've got another 20 and I haven't even done anything too crazy yet. But I will just drive the car off the cliff once, one last time. Hope it's helpful. Don't forget to drop a like, leave me a comment, hit that subscribe button. Please do use my creator code in your Fortnite item shop. Good luck with the challenge and until the next video, this is Gamer Dad out.